right behind you. How can I serve you, my Thane? Let's get going, then.
drinking, buddy. Oh, thank you. Divine pleasure, kind of. You're someone who can get things done. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. around I'm sure you'll everything's some may call this junk me I call them treasure Along. No more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. Why are we even going to a wedding at this far-flung end of the Empire, anyway? I told you, it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely well-connected merchant with the East Empire Company. The Emperor's cousin, remember? Hopefully these gifts will put us in her good graces, secure that import deal, and lead the way to an audience with the Emperor.
something? Need something? Need something? You want something from me? I saw you. I guess I can look. You could have just. I saw you. I saw you do that. Get away from me. Side. Still here. I am at your command. What? 
going then? Behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. As you wish, my fate. What do you want? Do you want something? Look, if you ain't gonna talk, or spare no coin, just go away! Please, just... just leave me be! I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Another letter from Ramos. He's starting to scare me a little. Looks like that's it. Got to go. As you command, my thing.
Still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Lead on. The Night Mother is mother to all! It is her voice we follow, her will! Would you dare risk disobedience? And should you... Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero. I for one am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn Our Lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, sister. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood? Husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. Tell me, brother, We've got some business to discuss. You must be talking about I do the indeed. Job. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Go. Take care of the Muiri contract. There will be plenty more, I promise you. Just be yourself. Eliminate the targets any way you see fit. Quiet, loud, quick, slow. Whatever you feel is best. Occasionally, I'll give you a contract with certain parameters. Stay within them, and you'll earn yourself a bonus. Very little. You have my word on that. The Night Mother represents a chapter in the Dark Brotherhood's history that has long since been closed. Today we live by our own rules. We're the last sanctuary in all of Tamriel, and only by foregoing the old ways have we survived for so long. My only worry is her keeper. 
I'm not sure what Cicero expects to gain by bringing the Night Mother here, but he'll soon learn this is my sanctuary. You go speak with Muir. I've got to deal with the Night Mother and her little clown. Yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. I am! I am! But not just my mother. Our mother, hmm? The Night Mother. Oh, yes. <laughs> And you helped me. You helped poor Cicero. You talked to Lorius and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the Night Mother. And our mother, she will never forget. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was... desecrated. Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe, at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home, here. This is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as Keeper. Oh, what? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, 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 you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> you, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Hmm... That's like telling you about the cold of space. Or terror of midnight. Sithis... is all those things. He is... the Void. Oh, Cicero takes care of our lady's body. Oils it? Preserves it, keeps it safe. Make sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see. The Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... <laughs> ...happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her say the words. <laughs> oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Though, of course, Our Lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are... rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's... intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our Lady has not chosen Cicero. And certainly not Astrid, or anyone. But, someday... Right then. The Cicero can talk for a moment. Just a moment. Then Mother must be... ...tended to. Tell me, brother. Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Born under the sign of the Shadow. Truthfully, I'm not entirely sure. It's not that I don't have the utmost respect for Sithis, and the Night Mother, and the ancient ways. I do. But I've never been much for religion. I kill because it's what I've been trained to do. It's all I know. So long as Astrid is happy, I'm happy. You must speak to that Moiri woman, correct? I have heard rumors in Windhelm. She was recently implicated in a thievery. 
along with her lover. The lover will likely be your target. If memory serves me correctly, he leads a group of bandits. So this may be rather interesting for you. Right then. Hello, Tidbit. The witless fool and his pet corpse? Take a guess. Yeah, follow my wife's orders, and don't do anything stupid. Yeah, good luck. It's been quite a boom, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. Two hundred years ago, I would have laid down my life for the unholy matron. Oh, but that age is long Other since stories. past. Astrid True. is my matron now. You must be talking about the caravan job. I'm just trying to imagine. You're headed to the Hag's Cure, right? It's a good back. shop. You should examine their Bloody wares. Never pass idea. up the chance to buy a good potion. I am but a or humble poison. instrument of Sithis. And one more Our thing. Have fun. Me. You'll be committing Therefore, a dark deed, failure. but there's no reason you shouldn't enjoy yourself. You're only young once. Trust me, I know. Stay safe. Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's Herald, to play some part in the Doom's inevitable end. Death is but the time to sleep forever I in heard the about void. What you must Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. You're being sent to meet with a contact directly, is that correct? What a most unusual occurrence. Astrid usually performs this duty herself. I can only assume she wants to test the full breadth of your abilities. So be polite and professional and represent us well. Walk always in the shadow of Sith. Oh, there's too much of an obsession these days with knives and arrows. You could kill someone just as easily with a well-placed spell. No, their arrival is the best thing that's happened to this sanctuary in years. Astrid is an effective leader, but... We've been rudderless for too long. Scrounging for contracts, abandoning the tenants. The Dark Brotherhood has been reduced to a group of common cutthroats. Frankly, it's embarrassing. Yeah. Just because you're now a professional assassin, don't think you have to skulk around in the dark like a skeever and stab people. Do what I do. Walk up to your target, introduce yourself, melt their skin off, and then run like the wind. <laughs> Works every time. Go. Incinerate some poor bastard for me. Need something? Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. The contracts I dole out are fairly simple. Go to a location and kill the target. But this is different. The jobs Astrid gives you will be more important, and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And for Sith's sake, don't get killed. Happy hunting. I heard about what happened. Oh, you mean in 
that manor house during the thunderstorm? <laughs> what can I say? It happened just like you heard. I'm just trying to imagine you hiding inside the body of a man. That a brilliant idea. I am but a humble instrument of Sithis. Our dread father guides me. Therefore, failure is an impossibility. Brother. Take care of the Muiri contract. There will be plenty more, I promise you. Got your back. 